Hey guys, Ben here from Velflex. Now I'm gonna talk about pressing onto nylon jackets. In particular, see this puffer jacket. Now these guys are really quite tough to get right. There's a couple of tips and tricks and some secrets around making sure that that transfer presses on successfully without creases and bubbles and things like that. Now, a couple of things when we think about a puffer vest like this, we think, okay, what's the outer shell? Now this one particularly is made of nylon. Okay, now if that's a synthetic fabric it's going to heat up really quickly. So what we need to do is do, make sure that we're not over scorching the, the actual garment, make sure that we're not pressing for too long. Also, we've got to think about zips, we've got to think about pockets with zips and things like that. So we're going to make sure that these things here, like the pockets and this zip up the top, are not on this plate so that we're not crushing them down by the top plate. Okay, I'm using the STX, the Hotronics STX, and I've got it on a table caddy because, as we can see here, sliding this on is so much easier with that table caddy. And I can make sure, see these zips down here, I've got them off that plate. And if I come up to the top, I've also got this zip here off the top of the plate as well. So that's absolutely perfect for me. Now, with this particular puffer vest, it's got two areas here through the chest where I can apply a transfer to. And what we wanna do is we're going to give this a quick little press to start with, just so that we can try to stabilize the fabric and flatten it out a little bit. We can also see where those creases are going to be, that sort of thing as well. Okay, so we're gonna give it a real quick little press, which is gonna get, and I'm just gonna make sure also that I check my pressure. So we're gonna drop this back, okay. Cool, there we go, I'm getting a nice five on there. Now by giving it that pre-press, right, I've now really ironed out, made sure that there's not too many creases. Obviously it's gonna gather around the sides a little bit, but I've also got plenty of heat into this fabric, okay? So by putting heat into this, by pre-pressing it, it means I can do a much shorter application because the fabric itself is heated up. We're not trying to heat up the transfer, the glue and the fabric it's already got plenty of temperature and it's already ready to start accepting that glue. So guys, we're gonna take two transfers here. I've got my ultra color transfer. Now this is just our standard ultra color. I'm gonna put it on the left chest here. And I've got ultra color max, okay? This is our newest transfer here. No minimums. You can buy as little as one of these. This is the DTF transfer ultra color. Now, I know this is absolutely a big transfer for that space, but I'm gonna give this a go. We're gonna press really quite close to that, and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to press this. Now guys, what we wanna do is we wanna press this on and then do a very short application and then get the carrier off, and then we're gonna do a second press with a bit of cotton over the top so that we can really bond it in properly. Okay, because the key to this is making sure that we get the carrier off before the fabric itself shrinks or anything like that because we don't want it to actually warp under the transfer. So guys, we did our pre-press, we've put our transfers in place now. We're gonna pull this down and I'm going to do, here yeah, I've got it for six seconds. That's all we'd need. Cool, it's gonna pop up. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this one a peel, okay? Now this one here is our DTF transfer. We just wanna give that a few extra seconds and I'm just gonna put a bit of fabric onto there just to make sure that we hold it down. Okay, and then that's a peel as well. Guys, it's as simple as that. Taking that off, that there is our Ultra Color with our Ultra Color Max on the left, Ultra Color on the right. That's a hot press, hot peel. Now. That was obviously we did a pre-press, put the transfers on, and then a six second application. Now, if I was just a little bit unsure, I was like, oh, is that, is that gonna stick? Is that gonna wash and last, that sort of thing? Guys, be absolutely confident. Let's do a second application. Take a bit of a t-shirt or something like that. You know, this is just a black t-shirt. And I, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna put it over like that, okay? Cool, single layer of fabric. We don't want two bits. We just wanna do single layer. Again, get your pocket zips off, that sort of thing. And let's just do another application. Now, you might ask, what am I doing this for? Well, if you just wanna make sure that the glue has had long enough to bond in, we've got a few more seconds than the six. Cool, there we go. Okay. What I'm doing by putting the t-shirt over is a couple of things. Sometimes when we're going on to nylons, the glue, because it doesn't absorb 
into the nylon fabric can go a little bit sideways outside to the very edge of the transfer and that can leave a little bit of a glossy sort of outline. So by using a bit of cotton or something like that over the top, it'll make sure it absorb that so the transfer looks nice and clean. The other thing it's doing is it's giving the transfer itself a little bit of texture, okay? And whenever we're pressing onto a bit of a nylon or sort of like a harder sort of product fabric, I like to make sure that the transfers have that little bit of texture about them. It seems to give the glue a little bit better bite onto those nylon synthetic fabrics so that you have better longevity through wash and wear and things like that. So they're my two little tips. Obviously, the fabrics heat up really quick. So do a pre-press, stabilize the fabric, gets the fabric nice and hot, which allows you to do a really short application. Cool, short application. I did six seconds at 140 degrees peel the plastic off as per recommendation. So Ultra Color was instant. Ultra Color Max, give it five seconds. Get, get a little bit of cloth and give it a quick rub. Cool, then peel. And if you wanna be sure, because six seconds wasn't quite long enough in your mind, grab yourself a bit of fabric, chuck it over the top, and then do another six to eight seconds. Gotta remember you need the heat to get through your fabric first, the cotton that you put over the top. So I would say another six to eight seconds over the top with that t-shirt there. That's just gonna make sure that you texturize the transfer, absorb any of that excess glue, and make sure that you're really activating that glue pushed onto that nylon product. Guys, we do have HTV heat transfer vinyl also available in nylon specific vinyl. It's in black and white, red, yellow, and blue. So your primary colors there. So if you're using CAD cutters and things like that, and you're doing one-offs and, and low volume sort of numbers, you can also buy the nylon specific HTV. Really good for this type of product. It's got a special glue on it, which makes application even easier again. Guys, check out our website. Any questions, reach out, email, phone, uh, give us a call, guys.